As we start to move from desk.gis to web.gis, there's a few things that we're going to need to learn uh, in order to display our maps online. One of the simple tools that we can use to improve how our maps look online is to set scale ranges. So for the most part in ArcMap, when we're working on the desktop, we haven't worried too much about uh, scales and visibility. So for example, I've got here in Wisconsin, cities, roads, major roads, and counties, and they're visible at all scales. So as I zoom in and out, I basically see the same thing at each scale. <clears throat> and when you use maps online, let's say Google Maps or Esri Space Maps, you realize that they've got different layers that you only see uh, at certain scales. So as you zoom in, you see more detail and minor features show up as you get uh, at larger and larger scales. We want to kind of replicate the same thing in ArcMap. So when we publish our map online, um, we'll get the same kind of effect. So if I look, let's say, at all the data that I have here, I get kind of a mess at that scale. I don't want to show all that. So we're going to set some scale ranges, uh, and we're also going to see how we can switch our scale, our visible scales, to something that matches what we'll find online. So first, let's um, change the set of scales that ArcMap uses. If I go up to this map scale box, I'll look at the defaults that come with ArcMap. So these, I can switch between these different scales. And for the most part, we usually don't need to do that when we're uh, um, working in ArcMap on the desktop. But I want to customize li this list and have it match what most web maps use. So I'm going to go in here to customize. Here I can set these to my own personal settings if I like. But we're gonna, we're, what we're going to do is go to Load and choose ArcGIS Online, Bing Maps, Google Maps. <clears throat> Google was the one that originally set these scale ranges, and they've kind of become default for everyone out there. So instead of there being kind of a continuous set of scales, and we kind of get that impression when we're zooming in and out of maps, there's really a set number, different zoom levels. Um, and here they are. And I'm actually going to fix this and say only display these scales when zooming. So we're going to get more of an effect that looks like what we'll find online. So if I zoom in and out, <clears throat> I'm going to get the same scales. All right. So next, I'm going to go ahead and change what's visible at each of these different scales. So I can kind of get a note up here that about 1 in 4 million, um, that's where I just want to show, let's say, just the counties. So I'm going to turn off roads, major roads, and cities at this scale. And they're only, and only have them visible at, at larger scales. So I'm going to right-click on roads, <clears throat> go to properties, and then un, under each of the layer property tabs, I'm going to find general. Here in the default on scale ranges, this is to show layers at all scales and we're going to adjust this. So we're going to say don't show layer when zoomed um, out beyond. So I'm not going to make it visible at this scale. I'm actually going to go for these uh, detailed roads uh, fairly far in. And then I can make a maximum scale like the detail which so as I zoom in at some point I'm not going to show that layer any longer. For right now I'm just going to set a minimum scale. Now notice when I do that, first of all, at this scale that I'm viewing right now, my major roads, or my all roads, has disappeared. So it's no longer visible at that scale. And I also see that there's this little icon at the bottom of um, my layer. It lets me know that there's been a scale range settings applied to that. And it's grayed out, meaning at the current scale it's not visible. And if I zoom in past the threshold that I set, I see it again, and I no longer have the gray out on the roads. All right, and we can do that with each of our different layers here, and perhaps set a different range for each. And now, in my initial view of Wisconsin, I just see counties, and as I zoom in, more and more of my layers become visible. All right, 
So that gives you a glimpse of how we can use scale ranges in order to create base maps like we see online. And it'll also make our, our online maps look more appealing at various scales because we don't have too much information on them. All right, good luck.